Well, it's been a little while, but I have good reason for that. So I've been working pretty hard the last couple of weeks trying to get the checkout room open for business in addition to, you know, normal class things. Uh, last weekend was kind of interrupted because James finally came back. So we got all of his stuff and some of my stuff that I lent to him um, over the summer out of storage. Uh, I believe you will recall that I mentioned his desk will be living under the printer. He also has a fish that I still need to ship him out to Iowa because we ran out of time to take care of that. So, printer is on a real desk because, if you'll recall, we built a desk for my room, which looks a little bit different now. You might remember, well, from the last video, uh, the, the upgraded setup, well, tell you what, it looks a lot more like a bedroom now. Yeah, gear cabinet. I got my enlarger back. I have a I have a real bed. Guys, I can't tell you the last time I well I can, it was in March. I slept in a bed in March when we went to visit my my wife's folks. Yeah. So we're all we're all organized. And uh tell you what, we got some new goodies. So let's take a seat and I'll show you what I got. So for the last week or two of classes, I've been using the D850 as my webcam because I really wasn't happy with the C525, I believe, and the, the laptop's webcam is right out. So I found uh, an app, Cascable, for Mac that allowed me to, over a uh, USB cable, run the video feed and feed it into Microsoft Teams and Zoom as a virtual webcam which is fine, uh, the quality's decent enough. Um, the data rates aren't quite high enough to get really quality stuff, but you're streaming compressed video over the internet anyway, so who cares? It's been great. Um, and with the D850, I really like the field of view. I have, you know, my 5600, um, which I very much like, but with the crop factor, even with a 20 mil lens stuck on it, it was a little tighter for the framing than I liked. The issue is, running the D850 as a webcam, you run out of battery life. It lasts about a class, runs through about two thirds of the battery, which is fine, but I really don't want to tear up my nice camera, my workhorse, that I more or less need for this program and my livelihood after I graduate. So the solution, I figured, is I'll I'll get a dummy battery and an AC adapter, and I figured it would be better to leverage my my old camera, my beater, and uh, to that effect, I bought a new lens, and I've got the dummy battery coming. Um, I opened this earlier because I I couldn't wait to see it. I bought a Tokina 12 to 24, which is basically made for a crop sensor Nikon, which is exciting. Um, all of my other lenses are Nikon lenses. Uh, I like Tamron. I've seen some nice Sigma lenses. I don't think Tokina is in the picture so much anymore as far as market share. I think they've kind of faded a little more into obscurity, but I'm really excited to see how this works. So let's swap out these cameras and uh, let's see what we're looking at. Uh, actually, hopefully that's still, it's hard to tell if it's going, which is a problem, uh, which is another thing I'm excited about the 5600 for because I can flip the screen out and actually see what's going on. Hang tight, guys. Oops, Daisy. We sit like that? Yeah, you will. Yeah, you will. Yeah, it looks pretty nice. And we can adjust further as needed. All right, let's. Okay, the nice thing about 
the 12 to 24, I don't know which camera to look at now, is it, yeah, we can get nice and wide. I got the first edition of this lens. The second one, I believe, would allow me to actually use, it would allow me to autofocus on the 5600, but because it's going to sit locked off on the tripod, I'm really not too concerned about it. Nice. Cool. Uh, oh, the other thing I did, because uh, the lighting situation in here was fine. I have a desk lamp now, but I figured uh, you gotta have colors, right? So that's been that's been fun. We actually um, used the the red aspect of this with the enlarger for a little portrait shoot for my roommate because he has to do environmental portraits for an assignment this week. So that's what I've been up to, more or less. Um, it's been a busy two weeks. Hopefully we'll get things back on schedule. This makes my life easier. I'm really excited about it. D850, you can go live on the shelf and take a little less wear and tear on that battery. The other nice thing is now that the checkout room is opened, I can start borrowing gear. I've already checked some out. And uh, maybe we'll do some fun stuff with that. I'm excited, guys. It's going to be, should be some fun stuff. Uh, anyways, hope everyone's doing well. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out. Or if you have any suggestions about other videos I should make, mm -hmm. let me know how it's going. I'll see you guys next time.